So next we're going to create a triangle. Woo, I know. To do that, we're going to jump to artboard number three. So go down to my artboard navigator and click on three trees. Now I don't need my layers panel floating out here and getting in the way. So I'm going to hover my cursor back over the top of the word layers, click and hold down the mouse and drag it back over and then just above the properties panel and then dock it in there like so. I'm going to pick up my zoom tool and then zoom in to the left hand side of this series of sketches, which are locked away in the very bottom layer, which you can see is called sketches. Now we need to create three triangles and a rectangle, which we're then going to move across and then create this kind of evergreen tree style artwork. Now to start this process, we need to create a triangle. You'll find, however, that when you go to the tools panel and click and hold down on the visible tool that's active in there, which at the moment is a rectangle tool, there isn't anything in there that resembles a triangle. But what we can do is use the polygon tool, which normally creates a six sided object. If I click on that to make it active, and then if I just click and drag with the mouse to show you that that's pretty much what it looks like. But that, of course, isn't a triangle. So the way around this is I'm just going to hit the delete key on the keyboard or the backspace key to remove that. I'm going to keep the polygon tool still active, hover your cursor over the image window and just left click with the mouse. Now, for this technique to work, don't drag the mouse at all. You have to just left click. And this calls up the shapes dialog box, in this case, the polygon. We're going to create a triangle that has a radius of 21 millimeters. So swipe over that, type in 21, and then to get triangle, well, we change the number of sides from six down to three and click OK. And that generates a triangle. One thing you have to remember to do is once you've drawn your shape, don't try and click and drag and move it. You'll draw another triangle because you've still got the polygon tool active. If that happens, just hit the backspace key switch back to your selection tool from the top of the tools panel, hover over and left click, and you can drag that one into position to roughly match the sketch inside of there. So that's how you can modify one of the preset tools to create something a little bit different.